You gotta love a plant that has multiple uses in the landscape and is also a workhorse. This is our native buckbrush or coralberry or Indian currant. Latin name is Symphorocarpus orbiculatus, which is kind of a mouthful. But look at what this plant does in the winter landscape. It survives all sorts of conditions. It is native and it is one of those go-to plants for a lot of our native bees and pollinators. It forms a colony slowly by suckering and by rooting where those tips touch the ground. It survives in woodlands, part shade, full shade, gets a little thinner in full shade, but it also tolerates dry conditions, crummy old construction soil, which is pretty unusual, and it looks like this in the fall and the winter months. It's in the honeysuckle family. The flowers are small in the spring, not very showy. So again, it's not one of those plants you plant for spring interest or great big in your face summer bloom. But if you're a pollinating insect, you're gonna love that nectar. And for human beings, you have to love the beautiful appearance of the coral berries, which is of course where it gets one of its most common names. And the fact that these can not only persist throughout the winter months, but also be a great floral decoration if you wanna cut them and take them in for the winter. They are great bird food. Also some small critters and creatures will eat them. But for the most part, they're gonna remain on the plant well into the spring of the season. This is an easy shrub to manage. One thing you don't wanna do is cut it all the way back to the ground every single season, because it is in fact a shrub, a woody shrub, not one of those suffrutescent things, not a perennial. So you wanna make sure that you allow it to become a thicket. That might make it a bit difficult and tangled to clean out and get rid of all the leaves and those sorts of things. But in an environment where the plant itself can cover up the, the undergrowth, it looks pretty darn good during the winter months. The coral berries also have been hybridized with other coral berries, with snow berries. But in my book, this is the absolute best of the best. There's one called Hancock that is a ground cover form, doesn't fruit, doesn't seem to like the best conditions or the conditions that this one does. So go out and hunt for our native coral berry, put it in your landscape, enjoy it outside, enjoy it inside.